All right, so in the morning, I'm going to be having ACDF surgery on my C6, C7. Uh, while looking for YouTube videos and any information about this in regards to weightlifting and lifting weights, I did not find very much information. So I thought I'd make a video going over... Um, how I got here and how where I end up afterwards, uh, weightlifting wise. Um, I've never been lean enough to be a bodybuilder or strong enough to be a power lifter, but I'm in between where I like to lift weights and I have been doing so for 25 years. So a little background. <clears throat> uh, in f Right now it's February 26th in December. Uh, mid-December I started to get a little numbness just in this one middle finger and intermittent pins and needles down this arm and elbow um, about five six days after that it turned into pain in the same area from the elbow down I was on gabapentin and naproxen um, <clears throat> you know it kept getting a little worse I kept going back to the doctor uh, gabapentin, he kept upping the gabapentin. Um, eventually, I ended up going to a chiropractor because I couldn't get an appointment for physical therapy at the start of January. And at that point, my triceps in this arm was like a fuse blue. And uh, one day I went in and I lost half of the pressing strength up, out, down on this one side. <clears throat> Um, the gabapentin was upped again, called again. Once they heard that I lost the strength, they ordered the MRI. When the MRI came back, I had a moderate herniation in C6, C7, and mild herniation in C5, C6. So they're not worried about the 5, 6, but the 6, 7 basically showed my symptoms. Um, which they progressed again after the triceps and it started to be in my back muscle and my chest. Um, <clears throat> for example, prior to being able to this injury, which I don't remember any specific injury, over the years I've bumped my neck here and there and been sore, but nothing this time. Prior to this I could do dips, I could do maybe 12 dips. Now I can only do eight with 130 pounds assisted on a machine. Um, I went from doing Arnold presses with 60 pound dumbbells down to 20 pound dumbbells. I went from doing chest fly and presses from 70 pound dumbbells down to 20, 30 pound dumbbells. So the, the muscle still functions, but the, the strength is drastically reduced, which is why they ordered the MRI. <clears throat> um, after they saw that, they had me do a neurology appointment. Um, I ended up getting a steroid injection. Um, that did nothing. Uh, very difficult to sleep. Um, I can only sleep. The herniations on this side. So I could only sleep with my head like this. When the pain would get bad in my arm and elbow, if I take my head and move it like this, I could alleviate the pain. So when it hurt, I just kind of crank my head back, and but I cannot sleep with my head the other way. If I put my head the other way after maybe a minute, it starts to get really numb. <clears throat> I tried everything at the chiropractor, the TENS machine, neck traction. Uh, I bought an inversion table, tried that. Um, pretty much everything I could possibly come up with. Uh, physical therapy was a joke. It was just neck pulling and, and nothing offered any any help. The steroid injection I had January 29th. Uh, February 1st, I stopped taking both medications and the pain got a little worse, but since I'm, st I'm still lifting weights during that time, I'd rather feel the pain so I don't injure myself. Um, and from there, here I am. About uh, two weeks ago, I finally saw a surgeon after the steroid shot failed. As soon as he saw the MRI, he said he was going to do the, uh, uh, the fusion. So the He's going to do a bone graft and a plate. So he's going to, you know, clean out the disc, put the bone in and do the plate. Everybody who has it going on knows 
what it is. But uh, the whole point of me wanting to make a video was that in searching for the outcome in regards to lifting weights and this and that prior to, during, and after, I couldn't really find anything from anyone about, you know, what the prognosis is. You know, I lost a, a tremendous amount of strength on this side, <clears throat> but I still have the sensory function. So the nerves are still functioning, but the motor function's not great. It's very reduced. The, the muscle stays limp on my tricep. But uh, he said it could take up to two years to find out how much strength will come back. He said, odds are I won't get all of it back, but it could take up to two years to find out how much strength will come back. So uh, since I couldn't find a lot of videos in regards to that, I figured I would make one. And here I am. So surgery's tomorrow, uh, 6.30 in the morning I'm going in. And uh, that's about it. And this is the first video and I hope to make one tomorrow or the day after and see how things went and describe everything and maybe help some people out that are looking for the same situation. You know, I over the years, I've, I've been in three car accidents where the car was totaled, a little bit of neck pain. Um, I've pinched my neck several times doing deadlifts when I would pull and have my head to the side as I pulled and I'd feel a sharp pain on the side, but it would go away after a day or two. Um, the most recent injury I can think of to my neck was two years ago, doing chin-ups right back here. And, you know, I was coming down a little too fast and I let my head, I felt my head snap forward as I came to the bottom and I felt a really sharp pain. And that time, which was two years ago, um, it was bad enough where it was probably three days and then it got better. So I never went to a doctor or anything. But the pain was bad enough at that time if I laid in bed if I wanted to roll over, I literally would have to pick my head up off the bed to roll my head over. I couldn't even lift my head up at that time. So odds are, you know, they said degenerative disc disease as well and uh, arthritis and stuff in the vertebrae and all that. But as far as I can tell, it's this is a culmination of injuries over the years. And then the, the disc getting older, I'm 42 now, is just kind of bringing everything to a head. So I think it was probably herniated before. I never had a picture taken. And just over time, it's just kind of worked its way out. Also, three or four years ago, I did a charity boxing event where I trained for three months with that. And I, you know, my neck took a beating doing that too. You know, it was, once again, nothing I really went to see a doctor for. But uh, anyway, hopefully uh, somebody finds this, finds it useful, and we'll go from there. So this is the pre-ACDF surgery, which will be in the morning. And uh, we'll go from there and hopefully I can have some feedback. And, you know, I've heard so many different accounts from different people, you know, you know, some people saying they don't get any relief. Some people say as soon as they wake up, all the, the ting, tingling and pain is gone. And, and the only thing that's been consistent the whole way through for me is numbness in the tip of this finger. Um, the pins and needles, needles are positional. You know, I can move my head around and change. You know, if it hurts a little, I can kind of crank my head the other way. And, you know, if I sleep with my head up enough, you know, I don't have too many problems. So you just kind of get used to it over the last couple months. Once again, it's, it's a pretty quick turnaround that it, I really started noticing it in the middle of December. And now it's February 26th is the surgery. So it's not that bad a turnaround, but, uh, Anyway, that's it. So uh, they're going to cut me. Maybe I'll stay over. Maybe I won't. They don't know yet. I'm going to put a drain in. I don't know if I'm going to have a collar, what kind of collar. Once again, I've from Googling and trying to figure it out, I've seen people, some people have no collar. Some people have a hard collar that they can't take off for two full weeks. Some people have a soft collar that they take off an hour a day and this and that. So, uh so yeah, tomorrow I'll give an update. Um, Pain-wise, I, I, I have a pretty high threshold from pain from all the years of lifted weights and things like that, so I don't know how accurate my perception will be of that whole aspect of it. But uh, from a weightlifting athletic style perception, um, I will give my input. I 
prior to this, I was doing full body workouts three days a week, um, squatting and deadlifting every week. Um, bench, I would use machines because I always had problems with the shoulder, which who knows, maybe it's from this too. I don't know. I've had problems with the shoulder for years and years. So, um, so I, I don't do a straight bar bench anymore. I tend to do more fly stuff, but, uh, in any event, um, I hope somebody gets some use out of this and I will see you next time with a collar on probably.